this video, we'll be showcasing the brand new alerting capabilities of the Race Capture dashboard. If you're familiar with the Race Capture system already, you'll know that you can configure a couple of ranges for a channel where you can color code the gauge based on those thresholds. It was useful, but it was also quite limiting compared to what's possible. So we have greatly improved the alerting capabilities in the system and uh, we'll be giving you a demo in this video. So what you're looking at right here is one of, our, one of the dashboard pages where you can see oil temperature, engine temperature, and battery voltage. Oil temp and engine temperature are simulated right now using a Lua scripting. We're just cycling through values so we can use it for testing. And the battery voltage is actually hooked up to a power supply and we can vary that and show you some interactive demonstrations a bit later. So let's dig in and show you how the new alerting system works. So we go in and through the normal click and customize and now you're presented with a list of rules. And what the list of rules allows you to do is create a threshold for a sensor value and then each rule will allow you to perform actions and we'll dig into that here in a bit. So right here we have four rules defined and the first rule is between 0 and 160 degrees and it sets the gauge color to blue and the, the next two rules set uh, another threshold with different colors and on the fourth rule we have a pop-up. We'll show you how that works in a little bit. So if we dig into the first rule, click that, and you can specify a range. In this one, it's a 0 to 160, and you have some flexibility as to how to specify that range. You could go up to 160, you could do uh, 0 and up, or you could specify a range. What you can also do is specify the number of seconds to wait before a rule is activated and the number of seconds to wait before it's deactivated. And what that's useful for is to create what you would call some hysteresis, where if you have, a, let's say, a spike or, or a blip, or you want the alert to hang around for a while, you can, you can for example, bump up the deactivation time. So, it, so whatever alert or action that you perform lingers for a bit. And for these values, you can easily edit them. Edit the direct value by clicking the value itself, or you have some touch-friendly options here with the uh, plus and minus buttons. So we actually like that quite a bit to make it easy to adjust the settings in the car. So down below, we have a list of actions. And right now, we have one action defined set gauge color. If we click the line here, you can see a color wheel and you can choose a different color. Uh, in this case, it's blue because when the engine's cold, that's probably a good color to uh, define for the engine temperature. So we'll back out and we can take a look at some of these other rules. So this is, a, so let's say 160 to 220 is a, probably a good operating range for the engine, so we color the gauge green. Uh, if we go above 220, now yeah, that's not looking so good, so we color the gauge red. And then if we have uh, a temperature that's over 230, well, we probably want to show the driver some alert. And when you click the pop-up action, you're presented with the ability to specify the message, a shape, Nothing, octagon or triangle. We'll show you how that looks later. And of course, you can set the color as well. What you can also do with the rules is you can turn them on and off individually. And uh, that's useful. So you can disable a rule without actually having to delete it, which would be kind of a pain to have to recreate those if you wanted to disable it temporarily. Rules are processed from the top down 
sequentially. So uh, a, a rule that shows up later in a list could override a previous rule, which gives you some flexibility as to how to organize uh, the behavior of the rules. And you can reorder these rules by pressing the down and up arrow buttons. So you're probably all waiting to see what the pop-up looks like. So let's enable this pop-up for over temperature and wait for the simulated data. Oh, there it is. So the over temp, we can dismiss that and it will stay dismissed until the threshold is met again. And there we go, it's reactivated. So if we take a look at the oil temperature, and we have a simpler setup where uh, oil temperature 0 to 200 it's engine still pretty cold so we color the gauge blue 200 to 250 and that's probably a pretty sweet operating range for oil and then what we have uh, above 250 we have a couple of actions to find so here's an example where one rule can prompt two actions to activate so we set the gauge color to uh, this orange color, and then we also pop up an oil temperature warning. So let's turn that on and see what it looks like. And then we exit. And right now we're showing the, oil, the over temp and then the oil temp. And what you could see is that both of them rotated. So if if, uh, if your car is having a really bad day and you have multiple alerts popping up, it will rotate on the screen so that you have a chance of seeing all of them. They can also be individually dismissed. So that one can pop up or both or none at all until they reach the threshold again. So we'll go ahead and turn these off for now and we can do a demo of how the battery voltage works. And there we go. And we are off. Okay, so the battery voltage is connected to our power supply. That's powering race capture right now. So with the battery voltage, we have uh, setting the gauge color of yellow. If the, uh, if the voltage is between 0 and 12 volts, and then it's green if we have it set between 12 and 14 volts. Let's add another rule, and we could say, um, so up to... Uh, let's say up to 10 volts and add an action. We're going to pop up a message battery. Uh, let's give it a stop sign shape. Red is probably good. And then let's, oops, let's add a new action. Set the gauge color to uh, red is probably good also. So now we have multiple actions to find if the gauge is between 0 and 10. And there we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and vary the power supply. Let me reach over to the power supply and start manipulating the voltage. Drop it down. Now we're seeing a little bit of a warning. And then there's our battery warning and the gauge turns red. And if we exceed the, th exit the threshold, now we're back into the green. Well, there you have it. As you can see, this is a dramatically improved alerting capability for the race capture system. We hope to get this out into beta soon and uh, so you can dig into it and hopefully it can save an engine or two for all of you. All right, thanks.